Mr. Jack Smith leapfrogged the typical judicial process, and he directly asked the U.S. Supreme Court to get involved and to rule on whether or not President Trump can be prosecuted. Although, to explain the significance of what's actually happening here, I need to back up and give you a bit of the backstory. This right here, as you're likely well aware, is Mr. Jack Smith. He is the federal prosecutor who is currently pushing forward the case against President Trump over in Washington, D.C. That's the case that's charging President Trump with plotting to overturn the results of the 2020 election. And while the trial itself is set to start on March 4th, well, right now there are a lot of behind the scenes machinations playing themselves out on both sides, on both the prosecution and defense side. For their part, President Trump's legal team has been making the argument that as president of the United States, Trump is actually immune from these types of lawsuits altogether. Their logic is that President Trump's actions on and before January 6th are all covered under the presidential immunity doctrine, which states that presidents are free to carry out their duties without threat of civil lawsuits. According to a Supreme Court decision from the year 1982, quote, the immunity protects presidents from civil lawsuits over official acts or acts taken with the outer perimeter of his official responsibilities. And so Trump's basic argument here is that while serving as the president of the United States, questioning the results of a federal election that he himself believed to be unfair was well within the perimeter of his official responsibilities. However, the federal judge overseeing this January 6th case, well, she did not agree. Specifically, Judge Tanya Chutkin, who was appointed to the bench by Barack Obama, she issued a ruling about a week and a half ago wherein she dismissed these arguments of Trump's lawyers. Here was part of what she wrote in her official ruling. Quote, The office of the president does not confer a lifelong get-out-of-jail-free pass. Former presidents enjoy no special conditions on their federal criminal liability. The defendant may be subject to federal investigation, indictment, prosecution, conviction, and punishment for any criminal acts undertaken while in office. And as such, she dismissed the presidential immunity argument and she allowed the case to proceed forward. However, as soon as she made that ruling, Trump's legal team, they came back and they immediately signaled that they will be filing an appeal with the appellate court and working to overturn her decision. Now, this type of procedural back and forth is not really uncommon before trial, very, very typical. It's typical for both the defense and the prosecution to try and eke out any small amount of edge that they possibly can. However, there's something else going on here, which is the fact that by going through the appeals process, this case might get delayed and the start of the actual trial might get pushed back a little bit. And that is something that Jack Smith does not want to see happen. Because you see, Jack Smith and his team of prosecutors, they're pushing to have this trial begin on Monday, March 4th, which is exactly one day before Super Tuesday. And in case you're not aware, Super Tuesday next year falls on March 5th. That's where 17 different states will hold their primary election. And for some odd reason, Jack Smith is adamant that Trump's criminal trial must begin on the day right before Super Tuesday. And so, in order to make sure that the courts stick to his schedule, Jack Smith took a rather surprising step. Earlier today, he filed an appeal directly to the U.S. Supreme Court asking them to quickly take up the case and decide whether President Trump can stand trial. Quote, Special Counsel Jack Smith on Monday asked the Supreme Court to take up and rule quickly on whether former President Donald Trump can be prosecuted. Smith is attempting to bypass the appeals court. The request filed on Monday for the Supreme Court to take up the matter directly reflects Smith's desire to keep the trial, currently set for March 4th, on track and to prevent any delays that could push back the case until after next year's presidential election. Meaning that in order to make sure that this criminal trial starts right in the middle of the primary election cycle, Jack Smith leapfrogged the typical judicial process, bypassed the appeals court, and submitted a request directly to the U.S. Supreme Court.